What up, YouTube? This is GeoStuff on one, and I'm coming to you with... I don't even know what I'm coming to you with, but hopefully this is informative to you, and just a little bit, I'm going to talk about what's going to be happening in the near future. So I'm going to wait for people to come in. Terribly sorry for this being a late live feed, but hopefully you guys are very well interested in something like this, because this would be something for the near future for me to do. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And hopefully this is a quick vid, so hopefully my notice notification squad is out there and they're able to get these live feeds. Fox RC Racing, what's going on? Eddie, what's happening? Mike C, what's going on? Doing good, how you doing? I'm chilling, freezing a little bit, but I'm chilling nonetheless. <laughs> my man Joe, what's going on my friend? Always thumbs up from you. If you like the live feeds, definitely give me a thumbs up and stuff like that, so. Michael, is this the same Michael I owe something to? K.O. Carter, what's going on? Looks like you got a bird. Yes, I do have a bird, but I have an issue. So uh, I'm going to wait for more people to come in. Uh, at the two-minute mark, I will start. Hopefully, this video will be quick. Lewis LPRC, I see what you've been doing with that X-Max. Looking dope. Mike C, I have one. They're fun. Ah, Mike C, then you're going to be the person that I need. A little bit of uh, technical know-how. Uh, when it comes down to something like this. Alrighty, so let's begin. This is the Typhoon Q500 4K from Unic. And if you guys don't know what that is, uh, that is a quadcopter or a drone, however you want to uh, describe it as. Now, that being said, uh, this is in actuality the case that's in there uh, for the quadcopter, which is pretty pretty beefy from from what I've seen and stuff like that but I do have an issue and I'll bring that up in a few minutes so let's flip this around and let's talk about the internal components of this all right so as you guys can see if I can get a closer view because my camera's not as high as it should be um, it does come with the accessory packs which I get my blades and everything like that the accessories and all the good stuff. Pretty cool carrying case for this drone, which is cool. I'll crack this piece open. It's been kind of like a guide feature and everything like that, and uh, all the little knickknacks that I'm gonna need for this drone slash quadcopter. I'm gonna put this to the side. And we are looking into the box, and I'm gonna take out the drone itself. And this is the Typhoon right here i'll give you a better visual uh with this very soon so uh, i want to take a few things out of this um carrying case and this is the controller that's over here and this is the action pro um hold on I'm trying to slide you out this is the action pro um i guess controller mount feed where you're able to put your uh, whatever iPod, uh, iPhone or Android or whatever, and you can connect it, connect the camera there, and it's all good at that aspect. I do have two batteries. The batteries that I do have are from Unic, uh, Power 3, 5,400 milliamps. Uh, these are 3S 11.1, uh, and it's pretty interesting the way it charges and everything like that. I do have two of them in there. I do have the charge packs. I do have the, um, the power supply for the charge pack. And we'll talk about that in a few minutes. I wanted to turn this on for you guys to get a visual of what this is all about. So. Bad boy starting up. Let's 
It's going to try to connect to a drone, but my drone's not on there. So once it starts thinking about it, we'll see what initially transpires. And that being said, the thing looks pretty gorgeous. It does have a vibrate feature as well, so that's a cool thing um, on this type of drone. So I'm going to leave the controller out, and I'm going to bring the box down. We'll talk a little bit more about the drone itself. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this is primarily what the screen looks like. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty big. <laughs> uh, like uh, Aaron would say from RC Spark Studios, uh, that's what she said. But, <laughs> but that being said, uh, here is my drone that I have right now. Let me go come across and talk to a few of you guys. I see a lot of the messages going through. Uh, Joe, and, Joe and Lewis are saying, what's up? Uh, let me see. What you got, brother? I'm curious to see what Lewis got. Bogey RC, what's going on, my friend? You ready? Thumbs up. You got a 1985 vintage Tamiya. Ah, you know who would like that? Um, Steve O.D. from the 313. RC Steven says, what's up? K.O. Carter, I heard uh, they have a new Typhoon Plus. That's an orange. Yes, they do. I'm not going to build unless I find the original transmitter that I had as a kid. John looks crazy, thank you. John looks crazy, awesome, thank you, thank you. All right, so here is my dilemma. So as you can see, this thing is practically new, or considered to be new. And Mike C, that is the dilemma that we are in. I am missing the 4K uh, camera that goes underneath here. Right here. And this is where I'm missing it at. So I have to figure out a way to get that camera. Now, problem is, is that funds are not there. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of time before I even get a camera. I know, I know, I know. You're looking at, oh, dude, you already got a drone. You're already doing this. You're already doing that. You know, what are you going to get a camera for and everything like that? But uh, I have to wait. I've been checking out eBay. Uh, I think the cheapest one that I found as of right now is around $200 for me to get the camera. Now, I'm pretty sure, Mike, since you own this, you're, um, you're probably wondering, how come I have this drone without a camera? Well, um, I have one of two answers to give. So I'll give you the first answer. Uh, I got this drone at an incredibly inexpensive price so i'll get, play a little game with you guys how much do you think this drone cost me and mind you the thing was pretty much brand new eli what's going on what happened to the mini z track man i was in your neighborhood last week stopped into the hobby heroes picked up the server for my tx4 excellent b peeps 200 Francisco what's going on 150 250 300 all right so I might as well tell you uh, with shipping and everything the this drone cost me $200 now here's my dilemma the drone was practically brand new uh, the scenario that I'm having is there is a camera that comes with the drone so the camera's not in my possession yet. Uh, primarily, the camera ended up, I guess, disconnecting from the drone itself, and two cables, uh, I guess, need to be soldered in. And I'm very, very, very good at soldering. So supposedly, the camera is going to be coming to me um, either by the end of this, uh, this week or next week. So once I get the camera, maybe I can save the camera because my soldering skills are very, very good. If not, I'm going to have to buy the, um, I'm gonna to have to buy a camera for this. So that's primarily what I'm, I'm going to be doing. Now, why do I have this drone? Well, the reason why I have this is because um, 
I want to start shooting a lot of events that I'm going to be throwing uh, at my house. Now, I've already spoken to one of the guys that's on the YouTube channel. Eli, he knows I'm going to be inviting the guys over to my house for us to do crawling and for us to do, you know, a little bit of bashing at my place and everything like that. So that's going to be happening in the near future. Now, there have been many ways people film it. I'm, I'm not the first one to film videos on the RC. Um, I'm not the only one that, you know, does videos with the RC with the drones hovering and getting all that other stuff. Uh, but I thought, you know, for my channel, I mean, come on. I have way too many RCs over here not to start filming all of them, you know? And uh, primarily, that's what I need to do. I need to start investing more and more into that um, in, in more of more filming. Let me see what you guys are saying. C-Mac, I know someone who probably hook you up. Yo, if you know somebody that can hook me up, that would be great. Francisco, Gio, guess what? What, Francisco? Uh, Mike C, the camera can be hooked up two different ways. Um, from what I understand, I'm not too sure what is... I, I've never seen... I've seen pictures of how this thing's being hooked up. Um, I've seen it on the Joy-Con or the controller, and then the fact that it goes here and connects to, to the drone itself. Now, I'm trying to contact um, Unic, maybe see what they can do for me or what they could say to me, but we'll see what happens in the near future with that. Uh, Eli gives me a thumbs up. B Peeps, Blitz, my vote, Mama Monster and Drone. You would have to get four of those, and that would be very expensive. Bokey RC says, laughing out loud, you can uh, send me the run DMC and I'll film it for you. <laughs> it's a possibility. Uh, Francisco, Gio, I got my Dream RC, uh, the Traxxas E Revo 2. Ah, oh, so you did did go with the E Revo. Excellent, excellent. I remember that. I remember you ended up uh, debating the whole scenario of um, E Revo and everything like that. So hopefully you like it. I haven't played with my E Revo in so long. So, you know, that's. Uh, that and actually my e -Revo, my e revos connect um transmitted or controlled by my spectrum dx three r pro so i like the e revo i'm i'm a fan uh let me see c max says look up demon scene jim browers he has a buddy in new york also hit me up with the information later on because it's gonna race from here uh, da, 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 da. Oh, shoot, 400 mile per hour, Mama Monster. <laughs> that thing would probably fly. Uh, see, in the case, should have come with small connector wires. Uh, I'm, it's probably going to be, in, because I really haven't opened this, it's probably going to be in the accessory case. So I might as well crack open the accessory case and see if I know what you're talking about. Okay, so I'm guessing this hooks up to that, to my controller. I have no clue what the hell this is, wishbone. No idea, none whatsoever. Uh, I do have, which I have no idea what this is either, I guess this connects to the unit to do some type of programming for it, which is still factory sealed. And this is my balance chargers, I guess. Keep going down the list. I got keys and an SD drive, an SD memory card. So everything else in there, well, I mean, yeah, that's what's in the box. He was gonna, uh, let me see. Let me see. I know the guy who has a drone exactly like yours. He's here in Portland. I've actually seen him fly it. Super nice. Quality is badass. That's from Joe. BP, uh, BPs. I actually got together with uh, other of the Traxxas Formers. We all run ASE Revos. So far, the drivetrain has no problems. Excellent. C-Max. K. Mike C says yes. C-Max. 
I have the same drone. I never flown it. I need to sell it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Tighten the blade. To tighten the blade. Interesting. Hmm. So that's what this piece is for, to tighten the blade. All right, things, things I'm learning. I, need, I haven't even seen the video they're supposed, supposed to be seeing. Uh, the white thing is to tighten the props. All right, cool. BPs look like a sensor cable, uh, but realize it's no point. It's a to call. It's drones. Joe says you should also have a landing pad as well. Oh, I don't even know. No instructions. Uh, the SD the SD card has instructions, but look, I haven't even I haven't even really I haven't really opened this thing up. I guess there's some type of instructions of what needs to be done and I guess there's a manual stuff already fell on the floor so <laughs> I gotta learn more and more see I'm missing this thing what the hell's going on here let me pick this thing up oh no I got a cable in front of there uh kid says nice dude is this better than DGI I'm not too sure we'll, we are gonna find out from Unic how their service department is now that being said hopefully their service department is good enough let me bring this camera a little bit down for you guys to get a better visual there we go um hopefully the service department is good i mean i if there's one thing you can uh talk about companies is the way their service department is so I'm hoping to fly this thing sooner than later. It seems like it's going to be later than sooner. Like I said, my funds, um, usually I do not have an issue when it comes down to finances with me. But now that I'm in a different facility right now, uh, funds have been tighter. Now, I know guys, um, uh, BP, uh, let me see as long as it takes me. <laughs> um, so, you know, I know... I know guys have known me for fully automating and customizing every RC that I have right now. That's going to change a little bit. Uh, thank goodness 95% of my RCs are fully um, fully coming across and being done. Now, here's another question. Uh, here's another question. I want you guys to look at all my, all my RCs. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Look at all of them that I have. Now, I want you to tell me, another game I'll play with you guys, which RC am I missing? You guys just went through that whole scenario. Which RC is missing from my arsenal? Ah, uh, see, Boogie RC. I told you I had my my Axial. I have the Axial SCX10. I have the Yeti, the mini, the middle Yeti, the big Yeti, and the baby Yeti. Out of all my RC, no, not not what what I need to get, gentlemen. I'm saying you guys know my RCs and what I own. Which RC am I missing? Missing a slash? Nope. Now I got three slashes up there. I'm missing the E Revo. Well, I only have my E Revo. I haven't bought another. I haven't bought the new one. The X Max. She's right there. Which RC am I missing from my arsenal? The Peed? Nice. Stan Pinky's right there in the corner. Francisco, Geo, uh, wasn't there a problem with Congress was ready to control aircrafts? Yes, I just have to, um, I have to get my licensing. My mini Z's I just showed off, they're right there. Stan Pinky's there. 
Wow, I can't believe you guys can't notice. I'll give you one more shot. The Rustler 4x4, that one's right there. Next to the Orange Rustler. So I'll go over the list. Summit, E-Revo, first edition, Emax, Rustler 4x4, Yeti, uh, one ten scale, UDR. I have over there the the TRX4, the SCX10, the Mini E Revo, the Mini Grave Digger, the Latrax Rally, the Latrax Teton, the Latrax Alias, the Axial Junior. I have the 10 scale Rally. I have the Slash 4x4 Platinum. I have the Slash LCG uh, two wheel drive. I have the uh, Slash H uh, High Center of Gravity um, two wheel drive, the X01. The Four Tech, the Funny Car, the Rustler Mama Monster, the Bandit, the One Tenth Scale Grave Digger, Stampinky, which is Stampede 4x4, the X Max, and the Yeti. Come on, man. Which one was your first RC? The Orange one. That is my first RC. The Rustler 2. Aha! Joe, you got it. Where is my boat? Well, don't fret. My boat is not sold. My boat is at the hobby shop. And uh, primarily what's happening is I'm doing... I the last One of the last videos that I did with the boat, um, I had two batteries pretty much... No, four batteries pretty much look like uh, big burritos. And primarily what happened is, is that, you know, Traxxas took care of me they got me four new batteries um which was an excellent thing uh they stood by their product and they said look we're gonna send you out two batteries and they did you know thanks to my uh peeps at hobby heroes so my whole thing was i'm going to get new batteries and once i get the new batteries um it's extremely hot in there so i ended up going with the hot racing pads so the pads the battery pads have water going through them to keep the batteries cool as well because the batteries were hot so that being said what's what's primarily happening with the boat right now and it's been almost three months um hobby heroes is doing the installation of the of those plates from hot racing so hopefully by friday i'll have my boat back uh, will it matter? Possibly not. It's going to be 37 degrees, but I do want to run it in cool waters. I know the guys still take the boats out and do videos like that. So we'll see what initially... Um, yeah, you need a license. Not a license, but a permit to fly it, and you can't fly it in the airports. So hopefully I'll have my boat. My boat will go where all those brown bins are, and that's where the boat will go. Now... Let me see. Ivan says, what's up, Gio? Nice, nice man cave. You still have that R1? Wait, hold on. Let me get you. There you go. There's the R1. <laughs> there you go. And congratulations if you're getting the H2. BP, the new tracks is 3S batteries. The ones have the same color scheme as the 4Max, X-Max. Awesome. Um, da, 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 da. Run them in my 8S e Revo. Uh, get up for months. They have not puffed. Well, the batteries that go in a boat, they're, when you're driving a boat, it pulls a lot more of the amperage out of the batteries. So that's the main reason why they blew up the way they did. So, or, well, where can I get a permit? Uh, your local hobby shop will be able to find out where you can get a permit at. Yeah, the boats do get a lot more stress, BP. Anyway, so I'll give you my last uh, point of view of about this uh, drone and about the near future. Well, the um, the drone hopefully will be up and running very soon once I get my money back together. 
So so weird. I've never had to even comment about me and my finances and stuff like that, you know. Um, but my finances will be back up to par, and we'll see what initially transpires very soon. Um, I'm still trying to get this house up and running. If you guys have any idea, this house is massively huge. So uh, it's going to uh, come on, fly something. No, don't think I can fly right now. I don't even have the. I don't even know how to connect these blades. I guess sooner or later I gotta, I gotta learn how to connect all this stuff. But I guess they twist on. I don't. I'm not too sure if I need. Uh, oh. Okay. So I guess you take this piece, you hold on, and then you twist it. Aha. Now I get it. I get it now. That's how it goes on. Okay. See, I'm learning something live on video. So, <laughs> anyway, so um, what's going to be happening in the near future? Well, use the white thing. <laughs> the little alias over there. Well, the little alias needs batteries, so I have to get batteries for that. And luckily, I think in this pack, aha, uh -huh, I did buy a brand new battery for that. So I'll be flying that alias, getting a little bit of practice before I get back and get flying into that one, you know? Make sure the blades are all right. Yeah, I know, I heard about this. Uh, Ivan says, cool drone, put it to good use and put it on follow mode when you race. I, you know, I thought about putting that, you know, as, but the thing is that thing won't catch up to an R1, maybe a bicycle, but it's not catching up to a, a thousand CC motorcycle. I don't even think a 600, see, I don't even think a 300, like an R6, an R3. So, well, to the guys that were able to offer um, their advice to me, uh, you guys need to uh, help me out. Now, what I need help with is I need to get the camera. I don't know where to find the camera. I saw, like I said, I saw one on eBay, and hopefully uh, I'm able to purchase that soon. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I would never, did not know that was for that. <laughs> Good one, maybe I should watch the videos. So, and I'm not too sure. Most of these things come black. I don't know why they're red. Is this an, a newer version, older version? I'm not too sure, you know. But, and I noticed that the, some of the batteries come white. <laughs> so I'm not too sure what's in the city transpiring with that. So here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is, A, um, I'm going to get this drone uh, up to par to fly. And uh, B... What is going to be my next RC? That's the curious part. I'm hearing a little bit of rumblings in tracks as of what they're going to be releasing end of year and uh, or beginning of next year. Usually around this time, uh, they announce their new RC. Their newest RC was the Rustler 4x4. A lot of people think um, it, it's on a platform between the Stampede 4x4 and the Slash 4x4, more of the LCG Slash 4x4 uh, in that aspect. But what is Traxxas going to be pulling out very soon? Or am I just going to have to wait? Am I going to have to wait for tax season and get myself a one-fifth scale? That is a good question. I think... A one-fifth scale in this garage will definitely do me well. So we'll see it initially transpires. So hopefully this uh, this video was informative to you. Uh, once again, just to give you guys a heads up, Mini Z Racing, which is right here, will be hopefully operational sooner than later. We'll see what initially transpires. Um, uh, you guys that watch um, the live streams that I do at Hobby Heroes, and I know a lot of you, I, th I think there's usually anywhere between 18 and 40 people that watch the Mini Z races. I don't know if you like the races or if you like a lot of the guys talking smack during the races. You know, Mini Zs aren't cheap at all. No, they are not. I think this one, I have one that's brushless and one that's brushed. And once you start paying for all this type of aluminum, you know, you get into huge amounts of money so 
that's something that you guys need to look at if you plan to invest into a mini z so <laughs> definitely look into it before you even invest into getting a mini z because they will break the wallet i mean you want to talk about breaking wallets some of uh, those mini z's are probably worth more than a lot of my 110 scales so that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, i'm very happy that you guys were able to stop by and check me out Bogey Ross says, man, I'm gonna have to see your see your tax guy. I always have to pay. I was well, I put I put zero dependence, so I don't have to pay out at the end of the year. So uh four uh let me see. Four by four VXO bandit. I don't think they could stuff a uh stuff a bandit for a four by four. Uh just the way the platform is set up. I don't think it could well maybe. Mm, who knows? Who knows? More of like a backslash if anything. Yeah, that'd be interesting. A, a a black, a black back bandit. Hmm. Who knows? There has to be some type of configuration. You know who would have done it? Jang from Ultimate Ultimate RC. Shout out to Jang, Jang Bricks. <laughs> All right, let me see. Bye, Gio. Thanks for the live stream. Thank you. Well, guys, glad you guys were able to stop by. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, you guys can leave a comment uh, below uh, to the people that gave me a little bit of advice about this uh, Unic uh, Q500 4K and try to, anyone you guys, try to help me find a 4K camera for this unit because judging by what I'm looking at right now, it's not going to happen with uh, me getting this camera. So I'm pretty much putting it into the back of my mind that it's not gonna happen for me. But we'll see what's initially going. The drone will uh, be fun. Make sure you have an open field to start. Yes, of course I will. I don't even know if I could fly it without the camera. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you guys were able to stop by. Rate, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, hopefully, in December, I will be doing continuous videos once I get my finances up and running. So, rate, comment, subscribe, and to my friends up in YouTube. Peace. And make a GoPro mount too. Oh my God, I gotta look into this thing. But then, wait, wait, before I even let you go, then how do I visually see what's happening with, because it was the 4K camera, aren't I, aren't, aren't I supposed to see it on the screen like a, isn't that screen an FPV? You know, um, I'm not too sure. Leave a comment below. Hopefully, you'll be able to help me out with this. And we'll see what Unix says. Hopefully, Unix was it. will be able to watch this video and see what initially transpires. So, take it easy. Later.